Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise to the Most High this morning. Give Jesus the thanks right now. Give Jesus the praise right now. Give Jesus the glory right now. Give him thanks. Give him the praise and give him the glory. Because our God is awesome. Our God is faithful. Our God is kindness. Our God is joyful. Our God is merciful. Our God is loving. Our God is the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. He never changes. He still stays the same. And he's still sitting on the throne. And he's still performing miracles and wonders right now. Yes, he is. Yes, see, he don't change like the season. He don't change like most of us. He still stays the same no matter what. He still stays the same. Mm, 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 mm. Our God is faithful. That's why I love him the way I do. That's why I praise him the way I do. That's why I glorify him the way I do. That's why I seek him in his kingdom each and every day faithfully the way that I do. I'm committed to him. I'm dedicated to him, and I have a lifetime commitment, 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 dedication, dedication, contract with him. I'm committed to him fully each and every day in the mighty name of Jesus. And before we get into this word and this message, I just want to share one thing to my sisters and my brothers. For those who doesn't have a personal relationship with Jesus, today is a day that you need to make Jesus your Lord and Savior. All you have to say right now is say, Jesus, I ask of you to be my Lord and Savior Christ. Once you do that, you become saved. Once you do that, you become, you have a personal relationship with Jesus. That's the only thing that Jesus asks out of every last one of us is a personal relationship with him. Now, you can't get no better than that. When somebody's the only thing they want, that's the only thing they want. That is more than love. You can't even put a price tag on that. When somebody is really telling you the only thing I ask of you is a personal relationship. Let me be your friend. Let me be your father. Let me be your everything. Let me be your shield. Let me be your refuge. Let me be your salvation. Let me give you things that you didn't even ask for and pray for. I want to give that to you, but I want to have a personal relationship with you. And if you don't today, today is the day that I want to encourage every last one of you to please, please have a personal relationship with Jesus. Ask him today to come in your life. Ask him today to make him your Lord and Savior Christ before it's too late. Tomorrow not promised. Next week not promised. Next month not promised. Next year not promised. Today is the day. Today is the day, my sisters. Today is the day, my brothers, that you need to make Jesus your Lord and Savior Christ and build a personal relationship with him. Amen? Amen. Glory! I believe right now somebody doing it right now. Amen. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. My brothers, my sisters, I have an important word and message today that I want to share. And we're going to be reading for the book of Matthew verses 9, chapter 9, verses 20 through 22. That's Matthew chapter 9, verses 20 through 22 and today's message is the bleeding have to stop some of y'all right now have been bleeding for quite some time some of y'all might be bleeding in your finances some y'all some of y'all might be bleeding in your marriages some of y'all might be bleeding in your health some of y'all might be bleeding bleeding in a report some of y'all might be bleeding in a dream to come to pass but the bleeding has to stop today and it's something that you have to do it's something that you have to do for the bleeding have to stop. I know y'all guys was expecting me to tell you, wasn't it? But no, not right now. You got to listen to the message today because this message today is clearly for someone today. The bleeding has to stop today. No, no more that we're going to continue to bleed. The bleeding has to stop today. And I believe and declare today that we are healed by the bloody name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Glory! Hallelujah. And before we get started, I always like to take the time out to give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Oh, Heavenly Father God, this came thinking up for an awesome and beautiful blessed day today. 
I can't thank you enough for another day of life today. I just can't thank you enough for our health today. I just can't thank you enough for our strength today. I just can't thank you enough because the day that the bleeding will be stopped today. I just can't thank you enough for the gift that you endowed in every last one of your children today. I just can't thank you enough how you how you preparing the way for us today. I just can't thank you enough for the blessings that we're about to receive today. I just can't thank you enough how the doors that you're about to open today. I just can't thank you enough for life today. I just can't thank you enough for the air that we're able to breathe and smell today. I just can't think no, that we able to get on our knees today and pray to you today and say glory to you today. I just can't think of how the Holy Spirit is moving through us today, oh Heavenly Father God. I just can't think enough for the food that you put on our table. I just can't think enough for the clothes and shoes that you put on our back. I just can't think enough you know, how we about to meet you right there at the intersection because we still being faithful, still trusting you, falling on this path that you have us on. I just can't think you enough, Jesus. How you touching every last one of us today? Say, so you know what? By your faith, you are here because the bleeding has stopped right now. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. When nobody else, when nobody else that we can call or count on, we can always call and count on you, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. 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 I just can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough. I can't thank you enough, Jesus. We're asking you right now to move, to move, to move, to move and release, release, release all your angels on us today, Jesus, because we just can't thank you enough. We just can't thank you enough. We just can't thank you enough. In Jesus' glory, holy, mighty name, we just can't thank you enough. Glory! Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now, my brothers and sisters, we about to get into this word, and I would love for y'all to turn y'all Bibles to Matthew 9, and we're going to read verses 20 through 22, and if you have your Bibles open and ready to receive it, shout out, amen, amen, let's begin, verse 20, just then, a woman who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years came up behind him and touched the edge of his cloak. She said to herself, if I only touch his cloak, mm, I will be healed. Jesus turned and saw her. Take heart, daughter. He said, your faith has healed you. And the woman was healed from that moment. Mm -mm -mm. Right now, some of my sisters, my brothers, Y'all been subject of bleeding. Some of y'all been bleeding 12 years. Some of y'all been bleeding 5 or 7 years. Some of y'all been bleeding for quite some quite some time. And you wonder why why I'm still bleeding. Why I'm still going through this when I trust and believe in someone. When they say the only thing we got to do is ask him. And he'll give us everything we ask for or need. But we still, right now, bleeding. Why is that? I believe some of you really ain't going on using your faith. That's why some of y'all still bleeding. Some of you right now is bleeding in your finances right now. Some of y'all are bleeding in your marriages right now. Some of y'all are bleeding in your health right now. Some of y'all are bleeding in your faith right now. Some of y'all are bleeding in your spiritual walk right now. Some of y'all are bleeding for your dream to come to pass right now. Some of y'all are bleeding of fear. Some of y'all are bleeding from anxiety. Some of y'all are bleeding from the inside and out. You're bleeding. But the, this woman, though, what she said, she said to herself, if only, she said, if only I can touch his cloak, I'll be healed. That was she would tell. She said, I just need to touch it. I just need to scrape it. I just need to breathe on it. I just need to this, this, this won't pass it. She said, if I can just only do that, she said, I know that I'd be healed. From that very moment, she already had faith. She said, I can just, hmm, come on, Holy Spirit, let's move right now. The Holy Spirit said, all you got to do is just breathe on that cloak. All you got to do is speak to that cloak. All you got to do is prophesy to that cloak and know that whenever you touch that cloak, whenever you breathe on that cloak, whenever you prophesy on that cloak, you will know that you'll be healed. You will know it. So before you even see the cloak, you got to know by faith that you, when you see it, 
mm, mm, mm. come on, Holy Spirit, you're moving this morning. When you see it, you know that you'll be healed. From right then and there, what happened? Jesus turned and saw her. He said, take heart, daughter, and said, your faith has healed you. And that woman was healed from that moment. So when she went by the cloak, she just touched the edge of it. It's the edge. You can touch the cloak by the edge. Sometimes you might even feel it, but Jesus felt her faith. It wasn't that she touched the edge of it. Jesus felt her faith. Mm, 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 mm. He felt her faith. That's why he turned around and said, woman, take heart. At that moment, she was here from that bleeding. Ain't no telling how long that she'd been hurting. There's no telling how long she'd been depressed. There's no telling how long she'd been facing anxiety. There's no long how long she'd been in her storm. There's no how long that she'd been in her dark tunnel. But she said, if I can just touch it. She said, I can just touch it. Mm. She heard it came, knowing that she was going to be healed. And right now today, my sisters, my brothers, you got to know by faith. That if you didn't touch the cloak by this the scrape of it, this by this breathing on it, this by eyeballing it, you got to know that you're going to be healed. You got to know that Jesus is going to stop the bleeding today. You got to speak it into existence right now today, my sisters and my brothers, that you got to say, Jesus, I'm not taking it no more. Today, today I, wanted this, I just wanted to squeeze your cloak. I wanted to just eyeball your cloak. I just wanted to just breathe on your cloak. I just wanted to scrape. Mm. By your cloak right now today. I've been bleeding for way too long. I've been bleeding my finances. I've been bleeding in my dreams. I've been bleeding in my health. I've been bleeding in my marriage. I've been bleeding with that fake doctor report been saying. I've been bleeding in fear. I've been bleeding in my faith. I've been bleeding in my walk with you. But today I know. I know for sure. Mm, 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 mm. If I can just touch the edge of your cloak. If I can just scrape by. I know I've been healed. But the bleeding got to stop today, my sisters. The bleeding have to stop today, my brothers. You got to go by faith. You got to go to Jesus right now boldly. Say, Jesus, I'm tired. I'm not taking no for an answer no more. I'm not taking no for an answer no more. I've been subject of bleeding for, for a long time. I've been subject of bleeding for quite some time right now. And today, I know by faith. I am touching your clothes. I know by faith I'm eyeballing. I know by faith I'm scraping it. I know by faith I'm breathing on it. I didn't need to just touch it. It's the edge of it. I didn't need to just walk past it. I just need to just look at it. I just need to just eyeball it. I just need to woo, glory, hallelujah. I just need to just breathe on it. And I know by my faith right now, I know about my faith right now. You feel my faith. You're going to say, son, you're gonna, you are healed. You're going to say, young daughter, you are healed because of your faith. It wasn't that Jesus felt the edge of the cloak. He felt her faith. She was determined. She was determined to be healed. That's how she got healed. She was determined. And today, I want to encourage every last one of you today, my brothers, my sisters, you have to be determined. And how you be determined? You got to pray every day. You got to seek him every day. And today you got to tell Jesus, say, Jesus, no matter what, I've been bleeding for way too long. And I'm not taking no for an answer no more. Today, I know for a fact, I'm touching the edge of your cloak. I'm breathing on it. I'm eyeballing it. I'm licking it. I'm scraping it. And today, you're going to feel my faith. You're going to know my faith. And I know that you're going to heal me because the bleeding has to stop today. Glory, who I'm talking to right now today. Who I'm talking to today, because I know somebody been subject of bleeding. I know that you've been bleeding in your heart. I know that you've been bleeding by hurt. I know that you've been bleeding by, by letdowns, depression, disappointments. I know that you've been bleeding in your health, in your finances, in your marriages. I know that you've been bleeding because you've been praying. You've been praying. You've been praying. You've been believing. You've been glory. You've been believing for your dreams to come to pass. And yet, you still haven't seen anything yet. You've been bleeding for things to change. You've been bleeding to see sunshine. You've been bleeding to see rain. You've been bleeding to get that stone. You've been bleeding to see the glory 
of Jesus to come into your life. And today, by your faith, you touching that cloak today. And today, my sisters, today, my brothers, you are healed. Give him the praise right now. Give him the glory right now. And shout out his glory, holy name, right now. Thank you, Jesus. Because today, the bleeding has to stop. No longer are we going to continue to bleed because we're believing in you. We are trusting in you. And we are committed to you. And we are dedicated to you. And today, we know, we know, we know by a fact. By our faith, we are healed. We're touching that cloak today. we breathing it today. We are scraping by today. We're just raising by today. We are healed today. The bleeding is stopping today. We know this for a fact that the bleeding has stopped today. It has ended today. We are healed by our faith. Today, Jesus. Not tomorrow. Not next week. Not next year. Today. Today, right now, right now, Jesus, you know exactly who we are. Today, we are touching you. You're not feeling our touch, but you are feeling our faith. Now, turn around and tell us that we are healed. And we believe it right now. And we receive it right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you the thanks today. We give you the praise today. And we give you the glory right now today. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. We are healed. We are healed. In the mighty name of Jesus. And if this word and if this message is for you today, let's give him thanks right now. Let's give him the praise right now. Let's give him the glory right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. And before I close, I always like to end with a prayer. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you to come into my life to guide us, direct us, Use us so we can continue to build a relationship with you. And I believe right now in the mighty name of Jesus by us praying this simple little prayer that God is already working everything out in our life right now today. The bleeding has stopped today. We are healed today. We thank you today. We praise you today. We are seeking even more today. And we just want to say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This is Minister LT. Always keep Jesus first place. Always trust in him. Always believe in him because today you are healed. In Jesus' holy mighty name, y'all stay blessed and always give Jesus the thanks and always give him the praise and always give him the glory. Hallelujah. Amen.